In this section, I am going to explain about temperature sensors. Temperature is the most common measured quantity in process plants. In most of the process temperature in common process variable. Certain chemical reactions, biological processes, and even electronic circuits perform best within limited temperature ranges. Temperature is one of the most commonly measured variables and it is therefore not surprising that there are many ways of sensing it. Temperature can be sensed either through direct contact with the heating source or remotely. Without direct contact with the source using radiated energy instead. There are a wide variety of temperature sensors on the market today, including thermocouples, resistance temperature detectors, RTDs, thermistors, infrared, and semiconductor sensors. For that thermocouple and RTD are most commonly used in process industries. Thermocouple. It is a type of temperature sensor, which is made by joining two dissimilar metals at one end. The joint end is referred to as the hot junction. The other end of these dissimilar metals is referred to as the cold end or cold junction. The cold junction is formed at the last point of thermocouple material. If there is a difference in temperature between the hot junction and cold junction, a small voltage is created. This voltage is referred to as an EMF, electromotive force, and can be measured and in turn used to indicate temperature. Working principle of thermocouple is Seebeck effect. Mostly thermocouple is used for high temperature measurement. Next. Resistance temperature detectors or RTD. The RTD is a temperature sensing device whose resistance changes with temperature. Typically built from platinum, though devices made from nickel or copper are not uncommon, RTDs can take many different shapes like wire wound, thin film. To measure the resistance across an RTD, apply a constant current, measure the resulting voltage, and determine the RTD resistance. RTDs exhibit fairly linear resistance to temperature curves over their operating regions and any nonlinearity is highly predictable and repeatable. The PT100 RTD evaluation board uses surface mount RTD to measure temperature. An external 2, 3, or 4 wire PT100 can also be associated with measure temperature in remote areas. The RTDs are biased using a constant current source. To reduce self-heat due to power dissipation, the current magnitude is moderately low. RTD also have different types depending on the material used. Thermistors, similar to the RTD, the thermistor is a temperature sensing device whose resistance changes with temperature. Thermistors, however, are made from semiconductor materials. Resistance is determined in the same manner as the RTD, but thermistors exhibit a highly nonlinear resistance versus temperature curve. Thus, in the thermistors operating range, we can see a large resistance change for a very small temperature change. This makes for a highly sensitive device, ideal for setpoint applications. Semiconductor sensors. They are classified into different types like voltage output, current output, digital output, resistance output silicon, and diode temperature sensors. Modern semiconductor temperature sensors offer high accuracy and high linearity over an operating range of about 55 degrees Celsius to plus 150 degrees C. Internal amplifiers can scale the output to convenient values, such as 10 MV slash degree C. They are also useful in cold junction compensation circuits for wide temperature range thermocouples. Brief details about this type of temperature sensor are given below. I hope you all understood about the temperature sensors, thanks for watching.